I'm Major Jeffrey Adams. I'm an operations research systems analyst at Fort Knox, Kentucky. I'm Army Strong, and I've got skills. My job as an operations research systems analyst is to look at data and try to figure out how to help leaders make better decisions. And there's a lot of data that we look at. There is a lot of statistical analysis that we do. You have to like math. <laughs> because uh, a lot of what we do is we look through data and we try to find that golden nugget of information that can help leaders make better decisions. My name is Dean Oliver. I'm the Director of Quantitative Analysis for the Denver Nuggets, and I've got skills. To do this job, there's a few things that are very important. One is an understanding of what numbers can do, how they answer questions. But then the other part is translating that into words. There's a basketball language. You need to know how to translate between that language and the math. I've learned a lot about the game through numbers. What I'm hoping to do is increase the percentage of their use in terms of winning a game, increasing the quality of the product that is out there. Hi, how's it going? I'm Major Jeff Adams. Hi, I'm Dean Oliver. Good to meet you. Welcome to Fort Knox. Let me show you around. Thanks. I met Dean this morning, and I brought him over to my cube, because that's where I do most of my work. What I do here is on the front part of the Army of bringing people into the Army, or helping market to those people. And we want to bring in good people, because we want a good Army. I was part of a working group where we tried to evaluate what are the attributes, for instance, of an officer. You know. Can we translate those attributes or characteristics to the front end of somebody being at West Point or ROTC or it maybe even at the high school level? There's a lot of different metrics, measures that you can use to evaluate people. In his case, he's using metrics to evaluate the right people for the military and in particular, a lot of different jobs that exist within the military. You're optimizing to a lot of different numbers. That's, that's definitely a little bit more challenging than what I have to do. <laughs> that aspect is... <laughs> My data sets come from a number of different leagues. His come from a lot of different sources, sources that may not have common languages that go into them, different surveys, different people writing different questions. I don't have near that problem. He's trying to figure out how do my skills relate, and those skill sets in a lot of ways are the same. You just use it a different way. I didn't realize they looked so much at how they identify candidates for the military. I'm looking forward to meeting him on, on his turf and, you know, seeing what he does and seeing how our jobs relate. Welcome to my office. I talked to Major Adams about some of the things that I can feed on to the management and to the coaching staff. Just as you guys do, you're trying to recruit the best talent to work in the Army. We have certain needs that we have on our team. We're trying to identify what roles we need filled. I showed him the structure, of what builds a team, the four factors that really go into that. One of the things we do when we're scouting players is we're looking to maximize the offensive ability of our team. So when we're looking to build our team, we're focused on increasing our offensive rating, which is points per hundred possession. And that's built around four different things. Effective field goal percentage, there's turnovers, there's offensive rebounding percentage, and there's how often you get to the line, free throw rate. This is the story in many ways of what makes a good offense or on the, on the flip side, what makes a good defense. It's very similar to what we do in terms of trying to figure out who do we need to try to bring into our army that will, <laughs> that will fit well with uh, what we're trying to accomplish. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Major Jeff Adams. We were able to introduce uh, Major Adams to Coach Carl. As usual, George, this is a very friendly, open self. Some of his reports, I can't. <laughs> I, I need it. I mean, this is English, but I go, I think I need this interpreted. The first thing I noticed about George Carl was that he was very honest. What does he bring to the table for you? There's no question now that the amount of quality of statistics has got to be looked at. Mm -hmm. And Dean gives us a large portion of it. And I try to bite off whatever I can to put into the strategies 
of a game plan. You know, there have been a couple times that we've, you know, gone against my actual sense going into a game. Saying, well, let's see what, let's, let's ride what Dean says. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that he has an open mind for new ways because he has been coaching for a long time and he's been very successful in what he does. There's going to be formulas and stats that kind of can eliminate the bad and maybe magnify the good. And then if he could ever get really good is then if he could evaluate character <laughs> and, and winning and substance of, of the what's inside the player, what's inside the makeup. Major Adams trying to build a much better army, but he has to make some of the same kind of decisions regarding quantitative data, qualitative data. My discussions with Dean today reconfirmed that he tries to do analysis that helps out Coach George Carl and the general manager. Very similar to what I try to do. I try to do analysis and research and help our leaders make better decisions.